one is called Francis Art and today I'll be showing you the top four type of shading techniques. So we start by drawing four circles where we'll be filling in our different techniques. There are many options for shading, and each option will change the style of your hand. Then, on the simple sphere design as a form exercise, it is the hashing technique. Hashing with parallel lines will be the same as cross hashing, except you are making all lines go in the same direction. It is a bit more time consuming than cross hashing board it can lead to an interesting result so you do one thing I've discovered is that you can create a wide array of textures by different shading techniques to your artwork a simple change in the direction of shapes or stroke can turn what you look like smooth skin into raw. Yeah. As it is easy to learn and allow you to perform on the ground in a short period of time, the process of series of points that goes in one direction. You can use it to shape just anything, anything. So in one direction. Second is called cross hashing technique. Which cross hashing technique you can draw parallel lines, varying the direction of the lines, and layering them to obtain different intensity of shape. In other words, cross hashing is where you overlap lines at various angles. It's a great way for drawing fabric like gulab, textured skin, and whatever else you can think of that display such a pattern. To shade light areas, lighten your lines and them for that part. In shadow area and then darken them and bring them closer together to form a cross fashion. So let's draw the shadow under it. our cycle. between hashing technique and cross hashing technique is the direction in hashing technique you draw lines in one direction and in cross hashing technique you draw line crossing each other you draw line like crossing each other that is the difference between hashing and, and this is a very smooth way of these people all point silly thing. This kind of technique is achieved by using dots. You do the same way I'm doing it. As you can see, I'm using dots to make my shape all around the cycle. Different shape on the light area and the dark areas. You can shape in the, the values by I would like you to stay tuned to this channel because I will be posting a realistic drawing. I don't really know, but very soon. I don't really know if she will be next week or so, but very soon I will be posting drawings and hyperrealism and hyperrealism as usual. But just one of these in. 
is um, is God. He's not cool enough to not do drawing fundamentals because I know my some might have been, but there are some that it's okay, moving on. My favorite yeah, shading technique is called smudge technique. Many tools to have this smudge, such as the brush or the custom or the lock. Can easily be a yeah. but this get messy. The best to keep your actual hand to drawing on surface as much as possible. Here yeah, I will not be using. Uh, my hands are using the first of called the next part. So to smudge, to push a graph up and to hold back on the graph, even in the slow application, you can find mention of it. Notice how the smudge comes from. I will hide the subject paper. That's true. That was dominant in the smudge shader. Smudging is generally much faster than to accomplish. You can push pencil around the paper and cover areas very quickly. However, beginners tend to gravitate towards smudging and abuse the technique of it. Make sure smudging isn't the only concession technique you should use. Right? So let's add some light shade to see. So what I'm gonna do next is that I will be drawing some blocks, at least three 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 blocks each. Okay, as you can see. I'll make, I'll make some blocks. So I'll also Fill in those gaps with different shading techniques and yeah, darker values and the light areas also just to make you understand. So these are the these are the links by the action, where the cross action where down below with the super up until the one the last smudge technique. Okay, so let's quickly go see that box. Ah, let's fill it up. Just some way with with practice, we all will add our values into our blocks. I'll show you the different shading here you see. Add our Dark Valley, Dark Valley, and our Light Valley. So you see, the, the, the one at the other end is much darker, and you can be dark. The middle one is dark. I'm using my tool to create that. So, this is our dark value. So, that's that for our smudge technique. So, we'll move on to the next technique. Show you the shading. The, the, and how to add your shading. To maneuver your shading techniques like a boss, you know. <laughs> Most people might ask, 
the process why are you making a video tutorials on this these are videos that you these are drawing fundamentals you must know so if you are an artist you have to know this for drawing shading techniques is one of those drawing fundamentals that you cannot do without right so let's add our cross machine yes as i was explaining so we, we add we do this by adding more force and this here will make lighter make it look more like Then yeah, we'll find lines. Yeah, lines. Okay. okay, that is for cross fashion. So let's move on to the last fashion technique. If you are a beginner or you're an expert, you have to know these drawing fundamentals. The shading techniques. Yeah, yeah, they are up to ten or so, and even more that you can create or even develop for yourself. But these are the major top four. That is for today. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time. Bye.